What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the surge changes for dungeons and raids. Bungie has decided to make some changes to the surges uh, that we see in these activities. It says they kind of saw that the dungeon and raid experience was changing uh, and kind of, you know, going to become something a little bit different once the final shape released. So they, the difficulty tiers and power level caps were reworked, altering the difficulty for many power enabled activities. At the same time, surges were added to raids, offering a damage boost for certain damage types on a weekly rotation. So they've seen a lot of discussion and different numbers provided for how this impacts the raid and dungeon experience. So they wanted to first give a quick clarification on the net changes for the incoming and outgoing damage in raids and dungeons in the final shape. Since raids, uh, raids and dungeons had different uh, settings previously, however, being very similar to each other, they're going to change. Uh, they were changed to use the same setting in the final shape to be more consistent. While the outgoing damage is capped at negative five in the power enabled match made difficulty standard and advanced, players will continue to increase defensive effectiveness beyond the target power. The tar uh, target power display focuses on offensive output of UI and UX. Uh, this means that players will continue to reduce incoming damage up to plus 15 in standard and plus 10 in advanced. Of course, they did give a chart kind of showing, you know, what the damage source, the power cap, and the raids would be uh, also for dungeons. You can kind of see that here on screen. And this kind of just shows, you know, outgoing being negative five, raids would be negative 33, and dungeons plus two. Outgoing plus surge was negative five, negative 15, plus 28. Incoming was negative five, plus 32, plus 17. And that incoming also at plus 15, plus three, and negative eight. Like I said, they're just wanting to change this to make it a little bit more in line, uh, you know, kind of for all the changes they've made in the final shape but at the same time i do find this kind of interesting that they're getting rid of those surges in those dungeons and raids i will say in my opinion it does make it a bit easier for loadouts and things so let's say for example there's a solar surge and you wanted to run something besides maybe just one particular weapon that you always have to use when that solar surge is going on now you're going to have a bit more of an option to use some different weapons uh, unless you know it's coming from something like maybe champions or whatnot, you still would have the option if there was no surges. You wouldn't have to run just that solar hand cannon. Uh, you could run uh, maybe you know a different hand cannon that you like. Uh, any kind of, in my opinion, any kind of uh, build that you're looking at going into a dungeon or raid kind of was held back at times to me with different surges. So now this should maybe free up some more you know, usage of different weapons, but also kind of get, like I said, what they were talking about, get um, everything kind of lined up with the changes they have made overall since the final shape has released. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.